I've been reading some of your comments. I know I haven't been responding uh, because I was exploring life. With you today, I want to talk to you about sufficiency and showing you directly how I'm doing it right now. And instead of giving you too much philosophy because some people wanted some practical video, this one is simple. I'm going to show you how I'm setting up my life right now in Miami. Many people ask me about like living without money uh, is not possible in certain conditions or living out of a tent is not possible in cities. So there you go. I'm here in Miami and I made the decision to live outside in nature. First, because I love nature, and second, because I can't afford rent here. It's not also, I could maybe afford rent if I had two jobs, but I don't need to stress my health to go sleep between four walls. So I decided to just camp. Just like I do in every other country, I have my same tent that I've been using for three years. It's a one person tent, 200 gram tent, really nice. I'll show you how I'm setting it up. My first tip is find the right spot. That means find like a park. The best for me was to find like city parks where sometimes you have a kid's playground nearby and sometimes you may have like a tennis court or you may have volleyball court and those kind of games, they call for showers. So the good thing with some of those parks is that they will have a shower. If they don't have a shower, they're still gonna have like a toilet and it might not be open 24 seven, but at least you can shower when it's open. Try to look for a park that is open 24 seven. Here's why, because most of the other parks in some cities, they are gated and you're gonna have a ranger coming to close the gate and usually they're checking if people are trying to stay in the park at night. After you find your spot, the next thing is gonna be, if you wanna go around in the city, like to eat or to meet people, you're gonna want to not carry all of your stuff with you. I'm lucky, my tent is 200 gram, but if your tent is one kilo and if you have the sleeping bag that is heavy and other things, just put this in a weatherproof, you know, plastic bag or some kind of weatherproof bag, like I'm doing. Every morning or every night, I have found a spot in this park because I saw there is like a trailer kind of truck that didn't seem to be moving much. Basically, they were probably doing some works in the park before and the trailer park is like those trailer park for bathrooms that are completely closed, nobody's using it. And so my thing was, okay, if I put my stuff under this trailer truck, it's gonna get dry, it, it rains, and nobody's gonna see it. The only thing I found out is just a little cat is going by. But no problem, this was a good hide. So I would say the, the most important thing also is to store your stuff. And if you don't want to pay for money, just find a bush or find under some kind of a car that's not going to move. Um, and avoid putting your food, avoid putting like fruits or vegetable or any kind of food in those bags because they will attract animals. When you walk anywhere in the world, this is your house. If you go inside of a store, like any kind of like grocery store or fruit store, they're gonna have areas in the store that are refrigerated. Consider this your fridge. Of course, you might have to pay for it. But here is another trick for not paying for the food that you need to eat. You don't have to eat the food that they give for homeless uh, people because I've noticed that unfortunately for homeless people, some of those public fridge they're giving quite unhealthy food so my way to do it is I've been helping some people uh, like elderly people that want to learn how to like do almond milks for example or they want to learn how to juice or they want to learn and so I, I spend a little bit of money to like make my first salad you know in front of a grocery store and then I get to talk to some people and then I invite someone to be like hey do you want to shop do you want me to help you shop maybe I can show you which fruits or which uh, uh, things are good for you, for your body. 
and generally like people are open to it because all they have to do is buy a little bit more fruits for you and that worked out the last option for free food is to actually volunteer you can volunteer for a farm maybe even some small grocery store might want to help you out if you're going to help them back you know at the end of the day it's really about a win-win situation between whoever you're encountering in front of you and it's not like a business game it's just a win-win everybody has an open heart just start from this perspective everybody is just like you when you go and you meet someone imagine you're meeting yourself and you're talking to yourself that might help you in your travel not to see the separation with the other person oh and one last thing when it comes to sleeping uh, outdoor especially in cities sometimes well it's gonna rain especially like in the tropical area it's gonna rain heavy so if it rains uh, heavy and even to the point where you have uh, flooded streets this happened to me last week well in those cases you really need to like when you're putting your tent and you're starting to like live where you are going to live just observe the, the weather observe when the water is going uh, and, and so you can know okay this area is a little bit higher up than that area so the water should be flowing this way and so in a way you can try to find a roof but even if you're on the roof somehow the water might flow so you have to be conscious of that the, the level of where you're putting your stuff and the roofing situation well for me this was just two months of staying here in Miami for free so I just find like a kids playground uh, it's not the best but at night usually parents don't take their kids at 3 a.m. in the kids playground so you should be lucky if it's really raining heavy no kids will be in the kids playground because they'll be at home and you'll be able to use the plastic uh, accommodations uh, <laughs> for the kids because yeah plastic can still help us especially when we need to protect ourselves from the rain but so like I said when you put your tent just start thinking like okay is there a spot not too far away like a hundred meters away or 200 meters away not too far where you can have a roof because it will rain and you should be able to shift your little house somewhere else uh, going into the city is that I would always take my bag with all of my tent and sleeping bag hide it and then I take my backpack I keep my backpack with me so I can store my food walk with it and I can also have my rain jacket in case it rains outdoor I also carry because some of you are saying that oh he's got money you know because I've made a video like you can see this video like probably in the related videos like how to live without money uh, well yes of course I have a camera that I'm filming with but that decisions I made it when I still had a little bit of money to live uh, with certain things that I don't really I don't want to detach myself from so for example being able to share some of those things with you or being able to film like let's say like what if, you, if I meet you and you have a project I have a camera and I can film your project and share it with the world so that is one of the thing I want to keep doing is just share what people are doing um, and also my computer allow me to also like help other people with my skills so in general yes if you have skills going to live off grid or living for free don't forget that you have the skills keep the tools that makes you um, who you are with your inner talent you know thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you liked it and uh, please check out the other videos please comment as well like whatever you don't like i love reading your comments even if i take some time hope to see you on this path